All road vehicles require a good set of brakes and brake linings are an essential part of the braking system. When a vehicle engages its brakes, the friction material comes into contact with the brake disc. The braking process changes kinetic energy into heat energy, a process that allows the vehicle to safely slow down. This company manufactures brake linings, also called brake pads, for many different types of vehicles, ensuring the safety of millions of road users. The manufacturing process involves many different stages, and at each stage, an operator is responsible for the machine they are operating. As a brake pad manufacturer, you are exposed to loud noises and brake dust, and personal protective equipment like earplugs and a face mask are required. Brake linings are made from a mixture of various materials which are kept in this receiving area. Raw materials are chosen for their performance and for their low impact on the environment. When the raw materials have been measured and mixed, the mixture is tested and tagged to indicate that it's ready for use in the manufacturing of brake pads. Before the actual pads are made, a backing plate is prepared. The backing plates go through a rinse tank to be degreased and are then shot blasted before having an adhesive applied to it. This is a critical process and if not done properly, the backing plate is rejected. Each batch is thoroughly checked before moving along to the next stage of production. The backing plates arrive at the press machine where the prepared mixture is pressed to mold a brake pad. When the pad is molded, it needs to cure in an oven for between 5 and 10 hours depending on the type of brake pad. Temperature and time are critical and any errors will cause the brake pads to fail quality checks. At every step of each process, operators log information onto the record sheet indicating the brake pad's size, particular use, shelf life, adhesive thickness and any other manufacturing information. The brake pad is nearly complete. The final stages of manufacturing involves grinding, grooving and shimming the brake pads. Painting embellishes the appearance of the brake pads and protects them from rust and corrosion. Accessories are also added. Lastly, before the job is complete, the brake lining maker makes sure that the brake pad is in good condition by inspecting them for faults or weaknesses. These pads meet the legal requirement for South Africa as well as for the EU where applicable. The batch numbers on the brake pads offer full traceability to every step of the process should any query arise during the lifespan of the product. A matric qualification is required to enter this field. Various tertiary qualifications are also required for specific positions in fields like chemistry, technical, mechanical, production management, CAD, or finance. This hands-on job also requires one to be mentally and physically fit, and there is job satisfaction in knowing that you are responsible for manufacturing quality products that ensure the road safety of millions of people.